I have videos on it. You can look up my videos. Everything's there. Okay. Well, Haraf, how are you? Okay, how are you? Good evening. Nice to hear from you. Baruch <laughs> Hashem. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, we have a have video on that. That is a whole, like a whole hour. Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of right? It's a new cut. Yeah, it's, uh, today it's not even that. Uh, you know, some people have this minhag, not everybody has it. It's a, it's a minhag without any, without any reason today. There's no reason to keep it. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. How's the weather in Dallas? Uh, today is 70, 75, very good. Okay, well, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm flying over. Yeah, I'll, very be I'll be there in two hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, it takes three to four hours, so it's not that close. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take a Concorde, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let me see, I'll show you where we are. Okay. Uh, That's where my marker is. Let me see if I can help you. I have the Yeshomrim. Oh. Okay. Oh, Beit Yosef. Yeah. We're on that big page, you know? Yeah, this one. Oh, that's too late. This one. Let's see if I get lucky. I don't see it yet, but we'll catch it in a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. So it says like this, right? Also, what he wrote regarding the Svara um, of the opinion of the Yeshomim, there are three heads got broken. Pasul, it's Pasul. Even if there's left over enough for a loop, because we're concerned, maybe it's three strings. So it says um, that that's according to that's according to what we said, right? If you were not careful, that there should be four and four on each side, except different ones, not the same ones on each on one side. Talking about that case, that he wasn't careful about that, right? Uh, but the ones who are careful to make sure that it's always tied on the opposite side, right? Never on one side you have one string, mm -hmm. you know, both both, uh, both of them, both sides of one string, right? So it says, according to that, that scenario, that you were careful with that, so then even if you have three strings that are broken on one side, but for sure, talking about here, we're talking about three strings. Uh, right, but it says if some of them are from one side, and some of them from the other side, that even the ones that are careful, they're going to say that the spooky when have doubt, maybe it's from two strings, or three strings, 
So says, even though these things are clear and simple, I mean, you know, if you've been following along, <laughs> that's mom. But it says, nevertheless, right, you know, I, I learned it over here and from this rabbi. So therefore, right, uh, I, I bought it, you know, uh, just to, you know, just to fill you in. Okay, so now should be a good place here to find this. So let me go up to the word Rambam. I think I saw that here. Right here, see on the bottom there? Uh -huh. Rambam, yes. Okay, get your napkin ready. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. Okay, well, it's not a joke. Okay, whatever. Okay, so it says, the Rambam Kata, Perk Aleph, right? It says, Perk uh, Aleph, Halakha Dalet, Atchelet Eno Meakev et Adlavan. So it says Rambam that the Tchelet, the blue, doesn't hold back the white, as we already said, but he mentioned these things. And also the white doesn't hold back the tchelet, the blue. Ketzad, how so? So it says, for instance, uh, uh, that he has no tchelet. So uh, he makes white by itself. That's good enough. Or let's say if he made both white and tchelet, and then the white got cut off, and now what, it's too short, right? It's like until the corner, cut off. So therefore, you have tchelet now. Kasher, it's going to be kosher. That's what the Rambam says. Even though each one doesn't hold back, it's, it's, it's the other one. And So he says, even though one doesn't hold back the other, but it's not two different mitzvot, it's one mitzvah. It's interesting. Uh, one mitzvah. Uh, there's there's others who hold, by the way, not like that. They hold there's two mitzvah. We already discussed that before a little bit. All mm -hmm. uh, right, so it says, uh, mm -hmm. So the, it says the earlier rabbi said that there should be for you tzitzit. It teaches you that it's all one mitzvah. It's all one mitzvah. This is the language of the Rambam. Okay, so it says, So it says, at the end of uh, the end of the parak, there katab. Also, it says if the strings of the tzitzit were diminished. Afilu, uh, this is also words of the Rambam, a right? different place. Afilu lo mehem ela, only left over kede aniva, just for like a loop. That's all that we got left over. Kasher says the Rambam's kosher. If you got the loop, you're good, right? When if when you sakachut mikaro. Ah, so what about if it got cut off altogether, nothing left? So look what it says, right? Even one string is pasul. He means to say, right, on both sides, right? That's what he means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. we're going to, now the Ram, Maran is going to ask that question, right? What does that mean, once, uh, what? one string, right? Uh, well, how does that? So it says, there's a wonder here, right? That what she wrote, that what she wrote, that if he'd made, White and tchelet, and then the white got cut off. So it's, it's implied from there that even if all the white got cut off, the gamma all together, there's nothing left over. Kasher is still kosher. Why? Because you have tchelet left over. Then how do you write in the end of the perik? That if the uh, string got cut off altogether, even one string pasula is pasul. How does that fit in one with the other? The or the mashma the pasak rabbi the rabbi. It also implies from his words that he paskin like rabbi, not like the chachamim, right? Who argue with rabbi? We will talk about that. The the alibe aminan because according to rabbi we say dei gardom lavan. If the white got cut off, the kaet chelat and the chelat is there. Kasher it's kosher. So it's implied that the rabbis don't hold this way. Only, only Rabbi does. Why did he pass like Rabbi? Right? Since Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri is on him, he argues with him. Like it says in the Gemara, and that was his Rabbi, as we said, right? Allah has like the Rabbi. Why should we go like the Talmud? That's the question that he's asking. So how do you pass him like Rabbi Yudan Asi over here? Uh, the Gemara, Berabehu, the Kaimanan Halacha Kirabi Mechaberu. 
So we hold, right, that there's a rule like this, as we said, right? Some general rules. So one of them is that we always pass in like Rabbi against his friend. In other words, one of his colleagues, right? Velo Merabo, but not his Rebbe. That's something else. Right? Velo Dechevan, the Pasak Rabbi, the Igardom. And also, he says, since he passed in like Rabbi, who says the Igardom got cut off Laman, the white got cut off, the Ka'ayat Chilet, and the blues left over. Kasher, it's kosher. Habalele, Mipsak, Nami, the Tchilet Laman. So then he should have passed in also that. Uh, that that the tchelet and the lemavan they hold back each other. That's the way it fits in. They do hold back each other. That's the way should have written. Kesaba Rabbi Rabbi like Rabbi holds. So therefore, right, the whole sheet of the Rambam doesn't seem to fit in very well on either side. Not like Rabbi and not, not like Rabbanan, right? It doesn't fit in. Oh, that might not be tchelet and no meaked et at lemavan. So it says also why uh, did he say? That tchelet doesn't hold back the lavan, the white. Sheim eno tchelet. That means if he doesn't have tchelet, or se lavan lebadon, he makes just white by itself. Or be lavan eno miakev et tchelet, and also the white doesn't hold back the tchelet. Nakat sheim nifsak a lavan nitmaet. There he says something else that if the white got cut and it got diminished, the old dish that takes the melashon the Rambam. So this is also there's another diuk that from the Rambam mashma it's implied the machshir ait igadom. That he says that igadom when it's cut off kosher, kula kule, uh, even if it got totally cut off lavan the white afilu lo nish te'er imenu klum even even if nothing was left over. Peheak if shalom marken how can you say that? Kevan de begemra lo ifshiru ella because the gemara says what that's only kosher nish te'er kdei aniva you have a loop left over. So how did the Rambam say that it's kosher even without that? So therefore, right, we have to do some patchwork with the Rambam, you know, patch it up somehow. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, it doesn't fit in here very well. That's what he's saying. I mean, we would just we would just read the Rambam. We wouldn't even notice these things. You know what I mean? But he notices these little things. <laughs> we would just read it and say, "Oh, that's nice. Okay, <laughs> that's beautiful. Okay." So right, so that's why we need the the, you know, the earlier rabbis, you know, to guide us, you know, on the proper path. You know, okay. okay, that's the way it is, right? And can't 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 stray away from that that the proper path that they guided for us. When he early shared Rambam, but I pasak Rabbanan. So he says, really, the truth is, you know, Rambam must have passed like Rabbanan, not like Rabbi. He couldn't have passed like Rabbi, and he he knew better than that, right? Okay, pashta the stam be matnitim, just like the simple meaning of the Mishnah, right? Katane, because it teaches there hatchelat enom yakivat lavan, because one doesn't hold back the other, right? The hatchelat doesn't hold back the white, the chule, and all that stuff. Sheim en lo elam min echad. So he says, even if he he has only one. Or say otom min sheeshdo. Whatever you have, put it. You know, you have white, put white. You have tchelet, put tchelet. What do you got? Whatever you got, put it in. Katav sheim en lo tchelet. So he writes that if he doesn't have tchelet, or say lavan levadon, you could do, do white by itself. Mimela mashma the lavan eno miakev at tchelet. So from from the um, <clears throat> so there it will be it will be uh, implied automatically. That the white doesn't hold back the tchelet. The chel shekin, the sharei, the chol shekin. It's all more so. Sharei ikara mitzvah betchelet, because the real mitzvah is a tchelet there. In other words, it's the main mitzvah there, according to this opinion, right? Beim hecha she'en no tchelet. So if when he doesn't have tchelet, ose laban levado, he makes white by itself. Chol shekin, all the more so because she'en no laban. He doesn't have white. She has no tchelet about. He should do what's called by itself. Right? And then also if the white got cut off. The ka'eh tchelet, and then the tchelet is left over. Or igardon tchelet, the ka'eh lavan, or the other the other way, right? That the uh, tchelet got cut and the white is left over. Pasak the kashir, he paskin that it's kosher. Mishum the svirale, why? Because he holds the afar gadel okamim matnitin ali badrabi. That even though to to uh, to to say that the Mishnah goes like Rabbi, itma lekule alma dina hachi, aliba de Rabbi, itma lekule alma dina hachi, then it was said that, according to everybody, it's like this, have, uve okimta, have, uve okimta de matnitin hu, so it says, uh, with the qualification of the Mishnah, the mashvinan plukta de benayu, that we uh, qualify the, the, the makhloket, the, the dispute between them, the rabbanan atya matnitin kepashata, 
according to you know if you read according to rabbis the mishnah comes like it's simple meaning right you don't have to do manipulate anything there everything is simple right uh, so what does that mean he doesn't have white or sit chelet do chelet he may not chelet if you don't have chelet or silaban make white right either way about the rabbi but according to rabbi it doesn't fit in this way the law mitzino mifrushe hachi when we can't explain like that mishum desvira because he holds rabbi the meakvin the etzek because they do hold back each other right that's what he holds tzarich lefaresh the matnitin ay gardom chelet so therefore it must be the mishnah is talking about only that the chelet got cut off not the white because otherwise it doesn't fit in my way. So regarding right, how much you got cut off, how much left left over, so it implies that the Rambam holds even if only one type is left, and the other type is totally gone. The Gamre Kasher is still kosher according to him. The Mishnah the Gemara count the Kama because the language of the Gemara that he said he got them, uh, the got cut off Laban, the white got cut off, the Kaeit Chelat and the Chelat left over. That means that the white is totally cut off. But only nothing is left over. Behold, the how did my name come as So it says that which we asked over there, how much is the left over? That's not going on the sons of Rabbi Chia, uh, that opinion. There's somebody else there. Talking about the totally got cut off. Ben Tchelet Ben Tchdevan, whether it's Tchelet or white, the Azu Debainan. There we need Sheish Toer Kedei Aniva that there should be left over enough for a loop. Aval Hecha Deloi Gadom Elamin Echad. But if only one guy type got left, cut, off, cut off, I feel Lo Nishta Menu Klum Kasher. Even if nothing got left over, it's kosher. So in other words, it seems like according to what he's explaining, we don't pass it like the Rambam, you know, because this is not really the halacha that we practice today. You know what I mean? Let's see. Let's get to go on. We can't stop there. <laughs> Never a good idea to stop in the middle. <laughs> you got to finish the whole thing. So it says, it goes on. It says, it comes out according to this. According to this opinion, if uh, the strings got cut off totally from one type, the gamre, since the other type was left over, according to Rambam's kosher. We don't pass in that way. It seems like, well, we go going to the Rosh, right? That we mentioned before, the opinion of the Rosh. So that argues with the Ram, Rabbi Mutam, right? That what? That even if one got cut off totally from both sides, not closure, that's it. That's how we pass him. Anyway, so go, right? That's Rabbi, the sons of Rabbi Chia. Mashkatab Rambam, also what the Rambam wrote. That's what the Rambam wrote. That if he made white and tchelet, and tchelet, and he sucked lavan, the white got cut off. And he took a little other kanaf, and then it got reduced until the corner. And he shared tchelet, but tchelet got left over lebedo by itself. Kasher is kosher. We're about to ask Moinan. It's coming to teach you uh, something extra. She afa pi a shared tchelet. I know elach utechad that even though it's tchelet, according to Rambam, by the way, it's only one string, right? It's tchelet. Kasher is kosher. The hen. Shechen she'im nifsak atchelet. Also, if the tchelet got cut off, nishter laban kasher. The white got left over is kosher. Ve'echad nifsaku kol achutim. Ah, so what about if all the strings got cut off? Im nishter bahem kedei aniva. If you have if you have a loop, kasher. Why is Rambam? So he agrees with that. At least he agrees with that. That if you have a loop left over, you're good. Ve'ainu de'aminah bekamas bekamas shiur gardomim. That's what they say in the Gemara. How much is gardomim? Kedei lanvan the loops. That's what the Rambam said. If the tzitzit, uh, the strings got diminished, if the tzitzit, the strings got diminished, even though there's leftover only on the left over only only loop, kasher. So he agrees with that. So bottom line, right, is that at least there we have a, we have agreement with the Rosh. So it says, but if the strings of one type got cut off. And from the other one, only one got cut off. So there's one left, right? Whatever, something like that. Pasul, it's pasul. So Rabbi said, Rabbi if it got cut totally, it's pasul. Because we only make sure when one type got cut off, 
Only when the other type got left over totally. But if also from the other type got cut also, even one, Mikaro told me, right? Pasul, Pasul. Also, if he made one from one type, or the whole thing from one type, so let's say he made it all white, right? Like we do today, right? So there, what's the story with that? According to Rambam, right? Uh, how does that work out? If one string got cut off, Mikaro told me, Pasul, Shachol Ah, so he agrees with the Rosh when it comes to this. Ah, in other words, when it comes to having all white, he agrees that this is the din. Even one puzzles it. What if there's the helical? The right. Ah, okay. So now we're getting closer to our custom today, right? So he's, yeah. he's, he's not agreeing with the, the, the red. He's, that it's two, he says it's two different misworks, right? Like that. Well, what is, yeah. Yeah, no, he's saying it's one mitzvah. That's, that's for sure. He said that meforash, right? The Rambam. It's one mitzvah. But one doesn't hold back the other, on the other hand, right? How so if you don't have one, I'm sorry? How does it work then? How, How does that so work? He says it's, yeah. it's, so he, he says it's one mitzvah. It's on not, the other hand, right, it seems like I contradict a little bit, but yeah. that's what he holds. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, okay, whatever. So anyway, that when they said, right, that when the got cut off, it's kosher, we're talking about that there's loop left over. And they're, 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 they're machshir, um, that when we need because uh, when we're asking how much is left over, what's the left over size, uh, so the answer is that it has to be enough for a loop. Uh, so it's uh, going on uh, the sons of Rabbi I'm sorry. Like it's implied from the simple meaning of the, of the lesson. So it says then, if all the, uh, when, when all the strings got cut off, Maire, that's what it's talking about. It's talking about that. So then we need to have a loop from each one. Why? Because sometimes, you know, when we use the word it means like just all the strings. It's like interchangeable, you know? It's like a euphemism, whatever. Uh, like the Rosh, Rosh says, oh, okay, now we're getting to the Rosh, right? So getting closer to the Shita of Rosh. Practical halacha, whatever. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's give us a bit of a different, different issue there. But anyway. According to Rava, who says that this was only talking about what? They got cut off. They got so what does that mean? Yeah. If, if, if the if the tchel got cut off, the ka'el and the white is left over, or the other way around, that the white got left cut off and the kind of and the is left over. Let Lanba, we don't care about that. But according to Rava, it's fine. So it seems like the, the Rambam. So because they say, right, that it's kosher, the sons of Rabbi Chia. So it means to say that all the tchel got cut off, the ka'el lavan, the white is left over, or the white got totally cut off, the ka'el tchel, the tchel is kosher, uh, kosher. So it brings a source from the sons of Rabbi Chia, the amre gardum et tchelet kshirim. But they say uh, that when the tchelet got cut off, it's kosher. And even though they require that has to be a loop left over, shani hatam there is different. Why? That means all that. That's what they're talking about. They all got cut. You know, both types. Then you need loops. But if it's just one type, you don't need loops. But 
But here, since one type is left over altogether, it totally, totally complete. Klal. Even though the other type got totally cut off, kasher, kosher. So it says, Rabbi is only taking the part of the sons of Rabbi Chia. We don't need the end at the beginning. There he agrees with that. So it says, according to this, that which he wrote, now he's going back to the Rambam, I think, right? The Rambam wrote like this, right? That if, um, if he made why then Tchelet, and why got cut off, and it got totally until the corner. And then, right, what happened is that Tchelet is left over, Levado, by itself, Kasher, Rambam says kosher, right? That's what we said. That's exactly what Rava said in the Gemara. That's only talking about Gardomim. Because if you're talking about white, the Kai Tchelet, the Tchelet left over, or you got the other way around, right? The Kai Lavan Kasher, kosher. And that which he wrote, that if the uh, strings of tzitzit got left over altogether, even though only uh, enough for a loop got left over, right? The kasher, it's kosher. That's exactly what the sons of Rabbi Chia said. That they're kosher in that case. Okay, so now it says there's a different way you can explain it also, right? There was one nice way to do it. Let's go now to a different way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting, right? It could be that the Rambam holds like this. That which Rava said, that when the white got cut off, the white got left over, or the other way around, it could be that he's talking about according to the Rambam that there's a loop left over. It's like the sons of Rabbi Chia. Uh, because if it got totally cut off, maybe we can explain the Rambam that way too, he says. Right? Like this Rabbi said, I'm a Rabbi, name a Rabbi. If the string got totally cut off, pasu, totally pasu. So it says, according to this, there's only two halachot in the Rambam. <laughs> it's not so complicated according to this. In other words, basically, we've come to the Rosh. That's basically what it is. Right? Uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, so they're saying the same thing? Uh, it could be. That's one way to explain it like that. One is talking about that one of the one type got cut off. But you do have a loop there. And that was, that's what he wrote. That he made white and tchela together, and the white got cut off, and it ma'et ala kraf, and got diminished until the corner. Ela shebikan katab, but he says now he writes hadin derech klal. He writes a general, general. Uh, the, he writes the the halacha in a general way. What does that mean? She nifsak min echad. If that one got cut off, nishar sheni, and the other one got left over, kasher. Uh, it's kosher. Well, the sofa perish, but in the end, he explains more, more thoroughly, right? More carefully. And this the beginning was just a general rule, and then it's like you know, uh, exp explanation of that, right? Uh, so, um, then he's saying, no, no, it has to be though. You got, you got to have a loop left over. That's what he wrote. That it, oh, yes, and so if it got diminished. Even though there was only a loop left over, that's only talking about when only one type got cut off. And the other type was still, you know, totally there. And he relied on that which he wrote in the beginning of the perek, the, the chapter, that um, he was only machshir when one got type got cut off. And the other one stayed whole. Hadina sheni, so it says the second din, according to this explanation of the Rambam, much that, that which he wrote, that if got totally cut off the string, 
פסולה אז פסול. דהיינו דה רבא בר ברכה אדר רבא רב אדם. פוינט דה רבי. ולפי דרך זה, פוינט דה רבי אדם. דת רמב״ם כדת רבינו תם. זה לא זק רבינו תם. ויש לפרש בעניין אחר. שלושה דינים הם, we have really three הלכות. האחד כשנפסק מין אחד, one is talking about one, got, one type got cut off, uh, the bad by itself, אפילו משתי הפכות נקדי אביבה, even though it's less than a loop, כאשר it's kosher, שמאחר שהמין השני, uh, since, the, uh, since the second type קיים, it's still there, כולו בכל שהוא, a little bit left over there, שהשתער ממין זה סאגי, Uh, that's good enough, you, you know, like almost nothing left over there. That's what she wrote, that's what he wrote. That, that if he made white and tchelet, white got cut off, it got left over until, uh, diminished until the corner. And it got left over by itself. And then he was precise to write, The white got cut off, and it meant the law got diminished, but the law got cut off, and then it was cut off. It didn't say that it got totally cut off. So it means to say like this, it was cut off, and it meant the shiur was cut off, and it got cut off, and left over um, the uh, nafra loop. Every time it was cut off, but it says, nevertheless, some of it is still there. And that which we said that until the corner, who ad shvelo ad bichlav? Not exactly, almost. I mean, that's what it means. Kama mar she makom shatalui bekanaf nishar. It's over there, like right, you know, at the edge of the corner. Kol shehu. Something is left over though. The hainu deama raba lo nitzvecha. That's what Raba said. Ela legardomin. It's only required for gardomin. Dei gardom lavan. So white got left cut off. The kaiet chilat and chilat is left over. Oi gardom chilat the other way around. The kaiet lavan. Kasher. It's kosher. The gardomim hainu she nishtarek tzad. That means. Gardomim, the word gardomim means a lot. You have something left over, a little bit, not a loop, according to this explanation. Because uh, if nothing got left over, that's already, you know, if, something, if nothing left over altogether, then it's considered to be totally cut off. If you have enough to do and make a loop, my Ilya Kaelavan, then why are you telling me, right, that. Uh, Uh, the white is left over, or kai tchelet, or the tchelet is left over. I feel we got don't tell value, even if they both got cut off. Nami kasha is still kosher. If you have a loop, right? even all the all of them got cut like that, as we said, we mentioned that before. To the amina the bnei riva lebichia. Let's say Rabbi sons of lebichia. Gadum et tchelet kasherim. That when you have like that situation like that, it's kosher. To nishtair b'hem kediyaniva. As long as you got aniva, you got loop. To the amina begimara. Right. By the way, today you know the word aniva. Modern Hebrew means a tie. Why? Because you loop it, you know? So yeah, you call it a tie, yeah. yeah. So when you go to Israel, remember that. <laughs> Don't forget. It's not a loop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, that's the reason why you're allowed to make a tie on Shabbat, because it's a loop, it's not a knot. So you're allowed to make a tie on Shabbat, yeah. yeah. Even if you do a double. Some of people are machmir about that. Double. Uh, a double. Yeah, because it's two, it's two loops, basically. Two loops. Yeah, two yeah, 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 yeah. So therefore, you're, you're allowed to do a tie on Shabbat. Okay, yeah, some, some people are machmir about that a little bit. But uh, whatever, the rabbi's nickel is a little bit more than you about that. Also with the bones, you know, for sure. No question about it. Looks like this guy didn't see that. Wait, wait, what about the salad? What about it? Making a salad. Sure. No, what about it? And uh, is there a time period until you have to eat it? Let's say you have guests over. Right. On Shabbat. Well, you're talking about cutting it like very, very, you know, Israeli type, like, yeah, you know, Israeli very, very salad. small. Israeli salad. So then you got a, it's like a half hour thing. What if it goes over that? Like you did it, you put it on the table, you're waiting yeah. for guests. They came, they came in 45 minutes. And not. Ah, you know, I mean, you know, it's like, you know, that was, your intention was to eat it now. You know what I mean? You don't know when they're coming, but you put it. We do the best we can, you know, we make an estimation, you know what I mean? But the point is, you know, that it should be for now. In other words, uh, for the current meal. It is having, great yeah. deal, but it's right. not, we don't know when, when it's going to be. So the rule is half hour, you know, so try to, you know, fit in with that uh, time frame. Is Do it, the best you can, you know. Is it the Rabbanan? Oh, uh, no, it could be the right side of this kind of thing. It's, it's, it's grinding. Prohibition, it's labor of grinding. Tochen. 
Oh, so you should be very careful. Yeah, you got to be careful about that. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, okay, so, but, uh, you, know, you know, when you do it this way, to eat it right away, you're, you're okay. Uh, okay, so let's go on. So it says, um, Right. So he says the uh, said the sons of Rabbi Chia. I know all the That means all the strings. They all call Tchelat. The law might tell Rabbi Raya and Rabbi when he brings his proof from from the sons of Rabbi Chia. And the law might not so focus Tchelato regarding only that issue. The end, like the beginning. The and since all the strings got cut off. They're machshir, right? Uh, according to this opinion, mishter ben kedeniva. As long as you have um, a loop left over, right? So that's pretty much, you know, um, more like more or less universal. I mean, that's how we pass him. But if sak min echad lebad, if one got cut, one type got cut off, yesh lechshir ben mishter pachot min kedeniva. Then we do uh, machshir if, if it's less than uh, even less than um, uh, less than a loop. Hadina sheni echa sheni psaku kol achutin. So it's the second din is when all the strings got cut off. That's what he wrote. That if the strings of tzitzit got diminished, that's the sons of Rabbi Chia said. Like I wrote, this is close by. What about the third din? What, what comes out of it? What comes out of it? That if the string got cut off altogether, nothing left over whatsoever, even one string like that, point to this opinion, right? Point to this interpretation. Okay, so now, right, we, we went through the whole thing, right? The whole two pages over there, and we covered everything. <laughs> so <laughs> now we get to the, the right to the uh, the bottom line, right? The punchline. So it says, what about the halacha? No, what happens over here? What do we do? What do we do with this challenge, right? How do we cook it up, right? What's, how, what, what's the bottom line, right? This is where you learn, by the way, how to pass in halakha, what you said, you learn the rules, right? The logic of it. So I said, look what it says, right? The, the words of the Rambam are not clear. In other words, there's like three ways of learning the Rambam here. Mm-hmm. So we're like, you know, one, two, three, you know, like it's like, uh, you know, musical chairs, Russian roulette. Right. right? You don't know where to go over here, right, with the Rambam. Okay, so then, right, what's, then what do we do? We go like the first opinion, right? Which is the Rosh, right? So Ri and the Rosh agreed with that. And the Rambam also can be explained like that, more or less, as we said, you know? So therefore, right, exactly. So therefore, but it says, if it's possible, good to be Machmir like Rabbeinu Tam. You know, if you want to be a good boy, you know? One of those Machmir guys, right? Yeah, you want to be Baba Sali? You better do like Rabbi Nutan. You you better. Okay, good. So then he says, right? Umash katab Rabbeinu. That which Rabbeinu said. That's the tour. Gab the kadei aniva. That should be a loop, left over a loop. Bivad she yishar kadei shuchal leanvam kulam beachal. Ah, so what did he say, right? If you remember, the tour said it's not just to make a loop with one. You have to make a loop with all of them. You know, so that's already like a larger size. You know, to to loop everyone together. Mm-hmm. Huh? All the strings together to loop them. Oh, so you need a little bit more slack there with that. Right. You understand? Know it's the nature of things, you know. If you know, right? It's a little nature of that. Okay. So that's so. What so? What about that? Right, do we pass them like that? That's the question, right? Or do we pass them just one loop, right? Uh, one string. Right. Exactly. Perakat chelat. So over there it says brings the source for this, right? Uh, also, it's there from Menachot, right? Same thing. Lamet chetam lubet. It's all there. The whole, the whole menu is over there, right? Adi aminan. Right, uh, regarding what we said, come, come, a How what is the shiur of uh, the size of leftovers? We have to do make loops, right? Ah, but look what it says, right? Uh, now Gemar asks, they asked over there, are you talking about making a loop with all of them? Ah, together, or each one by itself. Ah, that's what the Gemara asks, right? So what's the answer? Teko, right? That means, uh, well, we don't have an answer, right? There's no answer. So, Safek de Oraita, Lechumra, right? That's what we do. Machmir. But in reality, so it seems to me, that the Kamar Kedele Anvam, Kulhu Kedade, 
So says Maran, that which it says over here that you should make the loop together, all of them together. Oh, look what he says, something interesting, right? That only applies to the strings which are cut, not the ones that are not cut. You understand? So if they're multiple, you take all of them out, the ones that were cut. And only the ones that were cut. That's You, you got to loop those. So that's a little bit more lenient. You don't need that so much slack. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, not like the ones he says, there's also another opinion that they are more machmir. What they say is you got to do all eight of them. Oh my God. Ooh, that's a yachad, right? That's a big one. The tall order, right? <laughs> they, could, they can make a difference between do and die. If you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is very practical, you know, issues uh, because it happens sometimes, you know, these kinds of things. Yeah. Um, so, so it says it doesn't make sense to say like that. That you, have, you should have all eight strings. Mm -hmm. Why is that? The the lama lano lishayer gilgadomim kdei leanu barachatim. So it says hashlemim ela vishak kdei leanu bo kol achatim gilgadomim kdei kulu kadade. So it says that it doesn't make sense to say that we also need the ones that were not cut, you know, because the Gemara is only talking about the ones that were cut. You know what I mean? That's what we're talking. That's the question. The premise is on that. Mm -hmm. You know, so how you how you all of a sudden come to eight now? <laughs> you know what I mean? So in other words, if you take the premise of the question and the you know the answer, you're staying with that context, you know, which is yeah. only the ones that are cut. That's what you're saying. Right? Uh, okay, good. Uh, it's all, it all comes out from what he says also like that. Uh, Abayazo in this question, the Zedeshano, this is the language of the Mordechi. Perush, so he says, Perush, Kulhu Behadade Hadade. What does that mean, all of them together? The Tsunoroma, he wants to say, Arba Hutin, four strings. In other words, the ones that got cut. The Perush, Rabbeinu Tam, Akhoni Rabbeinu Tam, it's four strings. Right? They got them, that those are the ones that got cut. Tafka Mine Echad, we're talking about one type. Kasher, it's kosher. Well, Perush Rashi, but according to Rashi, he says, uh, I'm sorry, it's not Rashi, it's Ri over here, it should be. The Igardom Kulhu, talking about all of them, Kasher, it's kosher, that's an old man, he wants to say, Lenov Kolash Munechotim. You need all eight, according to that, right? So, So, that which he said, right, that each one by itself, Lichora Mashma implies, Name Misha, the Hute Kede, the Hut Kede, and Lenov, who mine, Uve, only just that one, that type. Sag, it's enough. Samag, but it says from the Samag, language of the Shmag, it explains it differently. That means you can, you can do a loop on a different string. Because it doesn't have enough to, 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 to loop it on, on, on all of them. Only on one. Only on one. So therefore it's called each one by itself. Uh, that's what he writes. Yeah, that was left over. You have enough from the string to, to do a loop. On the rest of the chutim. Or one of them. So regarding this, it says the Talmud is, uh, is uh, doubtful, right? Doubt, um, in doubt. So it seems like the Mordechi says doesn't really know which one, which perush of these, right, which variation of this is the, the main method, the main way of interpreting this Gemara. Because he writes his artistic language. So he says, says the Mordechi says, I'm just a simple guy. You know, yeah, right, you're a simple guy. You know, he says, I have a doubt. You know, I'm not really sure which is the right way to, to learn this. Mm. If that would send the Gemara, or Dilma Kol Chad De Chad, when it says each one by itself, the Chudei by itself, Im Etzonol Amar is is he does he want to say Kol Chutei Atzitzit Kol Chad Al Chudei all strings each one by itself? So you need each one to do a loop. The Chen Mashma Alashon that's what the way it implies from the language. Or Im Etzonol Amar or maybe he's, well, he wants to say something else. Lenov Chut Echad Levado. 
that he means to 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 do loop one string by itself. So it's mag, it says, implies that it's only one by itself. Katavarosh, the chema de bayan lo ifshita. Look what it says, right? Interesting. The Rosh Paskins. Since the, the Gemara didn't solve this problem, right? It left it with a tekel, right? Which means that we have no answer. Azina ba lechuma. There you go. Right? We're going to go lechuma, right? Ah, look what it says, right? Aval arif ve aramam lo is kilu din ze. But these two, right? The Rif and the Ramam didn't mention this. Interesting. Ah, so why did they mention it? What happened? Din ze mashma de sved azina ba lekula. So it implies that we go lenient over here. Ah, but then we say it's the right time, right? So what happened? How could how they go lenient? The Tama Mishum the Sviralu, because they hold he says the shiur is there, you know, Elam Dirabanan. This shiur is only Dirabanan. Ah <laughs> this size is Dirabanan, the loop size. Mm -hmm. The loop is Dirabanan. Oh, there you go, right? The ilu midiorite, because if it was from the Torah, the Khodu Sagi, because really the truth is from the Torah, even something a little bit there is good enough. You know what I mean, right. you have something, there's something there, you know, something is there, right? Uh, so he says that's how we pass him, like the riff and the Rambam. Can you imagine? Whoa, they had the law of when it's not possible, he says, but they had the shah, but if it's possible, something what you can get something else, whatever, right? Change it, whatever. It's good to be like a like we said, we can unfive the knots, yeah, we can unfive the knots. Yeah. That's also true, but you know the truth is that that's a little bit tricky, as we said, right? Not all doesn't always work. This whole thing, no. okay? We gotta talk about that a little bit, but uh, anyway, right? I'm not gonna get into that now. It's another time to get into that. That is just the thing, because we're gonna we're gonna finish it off. So what I want to do is just to, to do the shuhanu here, Aleph, right? It's like a milestone here. We actually finished the bet yourself after three days of hard work, whatever, whatever it was. <laughs> okay, all right. I think we have to make a seum just on this bit yourself. Huh? We have to seum. <laughs> <laughs> Each bit yourself gets a seum by itself. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's see the Shulchan Aruch. Yeah, okay. Da 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 da. Okay. You bet Aleph. Got it? Should I help you? I don't have the, the bookmark. The show color. This is my getting allowed. Oh, that's okay on the side of my getting allowed. Yeah, of course. Right, but you're you're in Siman Yudish. See on the top, mm -hmm. right here. Okay, so it says, um, if Saku, right? Got it? Mm -hmm. it's, even if Saku cut off, let's say all the strings got cut off, right? And then got left over at least for a loop, right? So it says, that means you loop all. The broken strings together. Mm -hmm. Okay, kasher. It's kosher. But even only shot kadei But if there's not left over that much, afilu bichut echad. Even in one string, shenifsak kulo. Every it got totally cut off. Pasul. So who's that like? Like the Rosh, right? Uh, and, and the Re. That's what you're saying. We're passing like them. That's how we're passing. Rambam is not clear. So we left, we left it aside. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here uh, Kafsa says, therefore, Kiran Shekol Echad Kaful Ishnaim, since each one is divided into two, as we said, right, fold it over. So we have slack on both sides, right? Im if Saku Shnei Rashim. So therefore, if two sides got cut off, Pasul, why? Because it could be, right, that it's the same string. It's one string. Shemen if Sak Chut Echad, maybe it's one string. Ufiz Mashik Shenu Nuhagim, the Dakdek, but he says, since we're careful, Right, when we tie the tzitzit, that each one stays separate, each side, right? We don't mix. No intermingling, right? Like when we buy tzitzit, it's done like that? Hopefully, right? If you have a good... <laughs> I can't I can't guarantee, but right, if a person is good at it, you know, he should know how to do a problem. Whatever. whatever. So it says, uh, it seems like, yeah, it seems so, it seems so, yeah. These guys are professional, you know, usually, like, these guys, they're, they're usually, like, very, 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 very experienced, these guys. They've done like a thousand of them. Right. Yeah, so well, yeah, they do it very fast also. So, so anyway, right? So because of Shnei Chashim, because of Shemani Fsak Chut Echad, why? Because if he's Mashi Anu Nohagim, then it was the seed, the seed of Dovid Mashim. So what we do is we put a siman, right? We put a sign on it to keep it separate, right? Beinyan Shel Olam Adar Dashim Hem Mitzad Echad. So therefore, what we know, that, right, that each side is, you know, separate, stays separate, no intermingling. Right, uh, so it says um, in that case, mm-hmm. so then if two sides got cut off, right, from one side, not two sides, I'm sorry, two strings from one side, two strings from one side got cut off, kasher, it's kosher, why? Because we know that's not the same string. It's simple, right? That's two different strings. And you have a loop there, right? So as we said, with these with these strings. Okay, good. Uh, so now that's the first opinion, right? Now he brings Rabbeinu Tam, right? Here we go. Well, Rabbeinu Tam, so it's according to Rabbeinu Tam, according to him, you need two full strings, right? No, no excuses. Right? That means what? 12 fingers, you know, the whole... The whole the whole array, right? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no shortcuts, right? The uh, Ainu So we need to have four heads, which are complete. Four heads. So we said you need twelve fingers, twenty-four centimeters. As machshim shen ifzeku hasheni echutim echarim. So then we 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 say it's kosher, even though the other side takat. As long as you have uh, enough for. Uh, uh, you, know, you have to have a loop though. Point for Avar, imif But if it's three already got cut, you know, three separate strings, right? Even though you have a loop, psulim. Point for Avinu Tam is pasul. Mipnekach. So he says, she shenech tochul shlosha rashim. So he says, therefore, if three strings got cut, im loid dikdek beta sirtzitzit. If he wasn't careful to make it separately, as we made it. When he made it, Shayu Nikarim Madal Dashim Mitzadahad Shalakesha, that each one is a different separate side. Hashinan were concerned, right? Shema Kol Rosh Mikhuta Khayo. So then we're concerned, right? If he wasn't careful about that, that each head is a different string. So it could be that you have three strings cut off. Hmm. Right? Um, so therefore you have only one string which is total, total, totally full. Hilkach mispeka pasul. So it says, therefore, since it's a doubt, we don't really know what the situation is. Right? We don't know if it's one string or three strings or two. It could be two, you know. God knows, right? Uh, uh, so therefore, we, we say lechumra because it's the writer. Hmm. But if only two sides got cut, according to Rabbi Nutan, so then we do machshir as long as you have a loop. So what now he says, right? The halacha is very shana. We pass like the first opinion. Miu hechad efshav. Whenever it's possible, it says tov lachush l'svata rabbi nutam. Good to be machmir like rabbi nutam, right? Possible. Says the Rama, right? We know how king rabbi nutam. So it says the Rama. Look what the Rama says, right? The minhag is like rabbi nutam by them, by the Ashkenazim, right? The whole sheken im dikdek sheyu mekarim hadal dashim. All the more so, he says uh, that if he was careful. They should be separate, right? Uh, and then three heads got cut. It's not on the one side. 
pasul. For sure, that's pasul, according to Rabbeinu Tam, right? Because then you know for sure it's three. Mm-hmm. There's no, there's no games over there. Right? The az vaday nifsaku gimel chotim. So now you know, now you know separate three separate strings. The name nifsaku the bet stadim, but if it says it was two sides though, nami pasul. It's also pasul. Why? From safek shem gimel chotim him because it could be that there are three. So this is basically the basic idea, right? So we pretty much summed up the whole story, you know? We didn't get into the round bomb, you know? Because well, <laughs> we don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> so therefore, right, we we uh, we we stop with that. So basically, the halacha is like the Rosh and the Ri, right? That's pretty much the story, right? The, the, the first opinions that we brought. Okay, very good. Baruch Hashem, very good. We got something done. Okay, Laila Tov, everybody. God bless you. Uh, two ladies from the south. <laughs> God bless both of you. Uh, be you. healthy and happy, and uh, see you tomorrow. Bezat And Chazak uh, Baruch. Thank you. All the, all the best. Okay. All right. Rabbi, they were saying it's pasu, and you said with, with untying the knot. What's the call? Would you, would you ever dream that?